can't believe you two took that raving lunatic seriously. What do you think this is? <laughs> Hey everyone, I hope you're having a great day today and I have to share some information with you that I've just recently come across. This would squarely fit into the category of strange science. Now, what's happening is the first human head transplant is about to occur in a place called Harbin, China. There is a doctor known as Dr. Sergio Canavero and he's revealed that this human head transplant will take place somewhere within the next 10 months. And he's already planning some other experimental projects in the future. Now, if all goes according to plan, the world's first human head transplant will have taken place by 2018. Now, Dr. Sergio Canavero is based out of Torino, Italy. He is a neurosurgeon that has published many different articles on uh, neurological procedures such as head transplant, brain transplants, uh, transplanting different body parts. And to put it lightly, he has drawn the ire of some of his contemporaries who claim that he is a crackpot type of researcher and doctor. But in early 2015, Canavero did make headlines around the world because he announced that he performed this groundbreaking surgery within two years. And as we can see, he's trying to make good on it. Now, he's revealed in an interview with a German magazine called UM that it's going to take place in China and the patient will not be the previous transplant volunteer who was a Russian gentleman that has a form of spinal muscular atrophy called Werdenig Hoffman disease. The first patient will be Chinese, as Dr. Canavero said. Now, the Chinese team of doctors will be led by Dr. Xiaoping Ren, of the Harbin Medical University, who in 2014 actually published his own research on head transplants on mice. Dr. Wren was also a member of the team that performed the first successful hand transplant in the U.S. in the January of 2016. Now, they claim this procedure will take about 36 hours and it will cost around $10 million. Canavero also claims to have successfully performed this procedure on monkeys as well as mice. But other scientists have expressed ethical concerns, if it could even be procedurally possible. New York University bioethicist Arthur Kaplan said Canavero was, and I quote, out of his mind, noting that even if the procedure can be per successfully performed, we have no idea what effect the chemistry of a new body would have on the transplanted head and brain. He also goes on saying that he's preparing for his next experimental surgery, which is transplanting not the entire head, but just the brain of a human into another body. He believes that he will be doing this in three years and is preparing for it now. So as if all this isn't enough, I have also read and found out that Dr. Canavero plans on reanimating or awakening the first frozen human head of a person that's been cryogenically preserved. So this cannot be verified. Some people have contacted uh, various cryogenic facilities and companies, and all of them have been distancing themselves from this Dr. Canavero, saying that uh, these procedures are not in line with what is known science nowadays. And they once again have called him crackpot doctor, uh, Frankenstein doctor and things of that nature. So. There's a lot of wishy-washy and dubious information coming out of this. I will be keeping an eye on this and keeping an eye on Harbin, China to see what comes of it. And I have to say in the Holy Ghost that this would be something that would not be pleasing to God. It reeks of forbidden arts that demons taught humans, even back in the apocryphal book of Jasher, where it says they sinned against beasts of the field, fish of the sea, fowls of the air. And uh, I actually did a video before on these chimera of the ancient day that may have actually existed during these times. We see it nowadays uh, where we mix different species together and we mix different body parts of different animals. And these chimera are an abomination. It's almost like spitting in the face of God that we can sit and mix and match things and make creations that he did not design and he did not make, which, you know, all of that stuff would be pleasing in the eyes of the enemy. Uh, but in God's eyes, it is abomination. 
So I won't go too far into the spiritual side of this. I'm just putting this out there for you guys to mull it over. Give me some feedback on it. Tell me what you think. That's just my opinion on it. But this is some kind of freaky stuff that's going to be going on very soon that is drawing uh, question marks from some top researchers and top ethical experts in the world. So you guys take care. I'll talk to you next time. And let's not be destroyed for lack of knowledge.